Hi all, Gail Woodford here from Gaming Gems and welcome back to Grim Fandango Part 2. Right, while Manny has a cigarette, we need to get Glottis' heart back. So we're going to head straight over here and grab a couple of these I bones. I guess I could always use a spare. As a matter of fact, we're going to grab quite a few. I think I need four. I think, I think it's four. Is that four? I've lost count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, right, okay. That's four. Right, so number one we use here. Use the first bone to get a bit of purchase on the web. Soup's on. They're huh, not going to want to go. They seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Well, they're not going to be. There's no meat on it, so... Spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Good. Yeah. Right, let's go and see where the heart uh, flew off to. Ah, there it is. It's still beating. <laughs> there you go, Glottis. Wakey, wakey. Heart, heart is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good, strong, beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? Damn right it is. Now it's our car. Oh, meanwhile. Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! That's getting sprouted. There it goes. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. He's already buggered off! for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Ah, don't worry about it. Well, we're going to need that sand, but not just yet. Now, the car is pretty nifty, but this area has a lot of boulders and that, and it can't get over them, so we need to be able to raise the car. So let's go and try and find a way we can do that. Let's go this way first. What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Right, now this bit can be a bit tricky and a bit annoying to get right. What we need to do is, we need to destabilize the tree. And you see the four, with the little, like, clamps or antennas, they've both got to be in sync. Both pairs are going to be in sync at the same time. And we do that by running over the wires with the wheelbarrow. So, like I say, it's a bit of a fart, this. You know what I mean? thing all over the forest. You're not driving all over the forest. Two stroke in there. Ah. They're the shit again. Come on. Oh, 
Yeah, you think that would do it, but it doesn't. It has to be left, right, not up, down. Bang it! I don't want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two-stroke in there. This is so fiddly. Ah, crap. Yeah, I might be a while. There, done it, I think. I think. I'm not certain. I'll try it. Careful, Manny! I With think that might be it. With the turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high-lift shots out of them for the bone wagon! Hold on. I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. I don't think this is right. Okay, find out. just give me a second to balance these doggies. Hey, Manny, what are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Shit. Try again. Sorry, Glottis. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. Oh, you're so trusting, Gladys. Right, let's try again. That's it, done it, right. Put the wheelbarrow down. That's it, the tree's shaking much more this time. This should be it. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. God, is she so trusting? I won't press the switch, promise. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. None. Manny, you promise? There we go. Until now, we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar like eagles. Heh. Like eagles on pogo sticks. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I call a sweet ride. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in, or are you afraid of heights? <laughs> Right. We're going this way this time. There we are. Right, we're going to park you here. But first of all, I need to go and get that sign that Glottis ran into earlier. While he makes car noises. While he plays nice, I do all the work. Thank you. Right, again, a little bit of a fiddly bit here. We've got to get this sign in exactly the right place. So, again, this may take a while or it might be spot on. We'll see. I've got a rough idea of where it needs to be. Nope. Right, so down there, okay. So we're almost right. Let's try here. Oh, 
nice one. Second time lucky. Now that was good. Secret passageway. Loteria. Yeah. Right. And take the old car down there. See all these tunnels here in the tree roots? They lead nowhere. They just you go round in circles. So we'll ignore them. We're going straight down here. If I can get the car in, it's gonna be a bit awkward. This. Nope, that's the wrong way. Ah! Nope. That's it. Manny, I'm scared of that sign. Don't worry, Gladys. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck-toothed king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Thank you! Can't pass up an old creepy key. Not in a point and click, you can't. Right, let's get back in the car. Now we get to see the uh, the bounce. The reason that we got the, uh, the hydraulic. Yeah! Hit my hearse. Right. Now we've got the key to open. There's a padlock here to the left to open the gate so that I can get through the, with the blotters in the car. Thanks, Lotus. But there's an obstacle first we need to get rid of. What are you doing? Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. Nice! Right, now we've got to be quick with this. We go, we sneak back in. Oh, we head down this little bit here to the left. Quick! Now, we need to lure them into the water. So what are they like? They're like bones. So... Then we need quickly need this fire extinguisher. Wait till they jump. Excellent. One down, two to go. So same procedure again. Have a boon. And that's them dealt with. The beaver dams are no more. So, the bridge is clear. We can now open the gate for Glossus. Out of the way! This outer gate is huge. I'll need Glottis to open it. 
Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, Manny. Get the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. Go on, Gladys. Me. What's over here in all this fog? Let's see what I can see, even though I've got no eyes. Ooh. Yeah, tourists. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Once Manny stops shivering. Again, don't know how he's shivering because he hasn't got skin, but well, there actually, you are. it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? Hello? Talk to me. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well... Like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> okay. I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? You can have well, what you like, Glossus. Don't let me interrupt your car talk. Ah, uh, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, so anyway... Right. I need to find a job. So we're going to have a long wait for Betchy, so let's have a look up here. Hmm, like a little diner. I recognize Mr. that face. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so I came here to wait for her. Um, you must love her very much, no. also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. 
What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Well, I'd better go see right. how my other clients are doing. If you say so, Manny. Go and ask the captain, see if he's seen his wife. There it is. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two. And she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Well, don't let me interrupt your car talk. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Touchy subject, I get it. Better go and give Celso the bad news. Oop, there we are. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny, is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. And Manny's got a job. And that is the end of year one. Hey boss, you gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. So, year two. Like I said, it's been a year, it's a year later. Manny owns this place now. Before I go anywhere, though, I'm going to pick these up. My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Wait, wait for later? Right. I love this bit. I love doing this. Hello, Manny. Hola. Doesn't he look smart in a tux? They both do, actually. Nobody in the bar. Very quiet. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. We'll need that later. Right, we'll pop in here. 
where he's got his own little casino. I'm going to talk to this spiv over here, I suppose, scumbag, whatever. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Mm, it is. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I Damn tell right. you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stuffs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Right, I'll be back well, to see I've you later. To run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. Yeah, whatever, sleazeball. Right, let's go and see. Let's go and see who the mysterious lady was. Mary. I love how she's made. Evening, Lupe. I Loopy have to Loopy. tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? What? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh, no, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Loopy Loopy, I fucking love her. Right, where's my visitor? She went down the steps. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! She is, and that's Domino dragging her along. Go on, Manny, run! Go on, Manny, go on, jump! Yes! Hey, Mechie! <coughs> Bye, Mechie! Thanks for that. This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Right, got to get on board this ship. So how am I going to do that? Let's have a look. Let's see what he can tell All me. Right. 
so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son, and every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have okay. to get his own tools. Okay, tools, right? if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. CB. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. Cheers! What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. I'd better go finish packing. Aye, you do that, son. Right, got work to do. Tools, union card, and stop Narana for Naranya from getting on the ship. So, who can fake me a union card? Go back and see the sleazy con man. Um, actually, no. Um, I'm gonna go in here first. The blue casket. Lola? What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout! I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him! Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come! Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Charming. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. Bye, Max. Maybe. At last, we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. Let's have a I'm look. a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Not you, Charlie. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and Tell take me. it from me. He's not good at finding things. Max is her boyfriend. Nick was the bloke to walk out. Well, right. Catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Nothing else to get off uh, Olivia for the moment, so let's pop in the kitchen.
Just the dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. We'll come back here soon. Oh. Good stuff. Right, let's talk to these hip cats here. Hey. Hello. Can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. I need that book. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. Right, so they won't talk to me, but they sound like revolutionaries, so who else is a revolutionary? Could it be Salvador? Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you now can I borrow you mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look at that book. Wherever it's gone. No, not Labor that. organization that and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Gladys. Okie dokie. So this time we're going to head up this lift. And we'll go back and see Charlie. There we are. Let's see, the area's got much bigger now. Much more to explore. Much more to do. At least money runs fast. I'm gonna do it again, gonna do it again, gonna do it again. Whee! Mesdames et Messieurs, Fred Vosieux, if you play. Ladies and gentlemen, please press Manny. your bets. What else can you counterfeit? Nothing. Anything. Can you make union reasonable cards. union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my mm. money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, okay. Manny. 
They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Right, get his suitcase with the money in it. Radio. Right more shit to do. Le numéro gagnant, le trois rouge, Imperial Monk. Right, let's get out of here. Manny! Yes, Lupe! I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang, I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Right, so Lola tried to give me a message. A key? Add somebody's gone behind the, well, gone behind the desk and pinched it, so, more things to find. Wouldn't be a point and click if there wasn't lots to do. Right, let's go this way this time. Yes, this way, this is the way to the high rollers. The cat club. That I got the VIP pass for. The big Zeppelin. Right. So the entrance is there, but we're just going to make a little detour. Wow, Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I just want to borrow it for a secret project. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You're clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Well, you can do it in a minute, love, because we're going to take a drink of this liqueur with gold flakes in it. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Right, let's try that again. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off <laughs> that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. <clears throat> and, of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm-hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? 
Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and wow. acres of fig you trees keep everywhere the conversation you look. I myself never really go cared for figs. For ages, I always like dates I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go straight Don't to the heart of the matter. Don't you just love prunes? Hey, Carla, that's an awfully nice metal detector you have. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yep. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Oh, poor Carla. Whatever. Well, better go and get the metal detector from the massive kitty litter out there. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Handball surprise! Closing in! And smitten kitten! Hey! Leeward Louie, standing her ground! Louis. Looks like a Coming great night for finish. cat races. We have a winner! Louis well, we're not here for the cat races. Over here. Fucci, that smell is peor que la muerte. Nice. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Have to go searching in the litter, but first of all... It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. I love that. Nice can opener. Now, something metal to get the metal detector beeping. Something I can wave around. There we are. Now, let's see if we can find it. Aha! Got it. And it says him raking through it with his fingers. little stinky, but it could be worse. Indeed it could. Right, that's that. Let's pop through here in a minute. This is more a shortcut, really. Um, saves me running... Oh, it's done it itself, so that's good. Um, it, there's a lever there that you, you, that you pull, and it makes a bridge so you can just get in and out of here just that little bit easier, instead of having to go right round at the top. Go, Manny, get in there! Right, up the stairs. In this side door here. Now we need your VIP card. Wherever that is. There we are. I'm sorry, oh, monsieur, okay. but I here's my door. pass, Jean Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. But actually, my name is Raoul. Right, first thing first, we're gonna nip in here. The barrels get changed. And we're going to take this turkey baster. Looks like a turkey baster. Now we're going to go over here and see Nick. Nick the Dick. Nick Virago. What are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. There's the key I'm looking for. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw yeah, shut. Yeah, whatever. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Uh, which one should I say? That one. I'm starting a class action suit. Lots of money involved. Who are you deep pocketing? What's the difference to you? 
They're loaded. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? A bit of humour him. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Well, it's got to be you. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Prick. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I'm going to make him in. Aren't you nice? Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full, so what are you gonna do? I could blackmail you. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Yeah, go on, piss off. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. That's fine. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Thanks, Nick. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Where am I going? I thought I was going the right way. That's it. Right, back in the lift. Get in the lift! Get in the lift! Thank you. Right, we're going to go back and see our dear friend Carla, because she can do us a service. You can get this metal case open for us. Oh, there it is. What's that? Ah, right. We're going to make it look like it's quite a suspicious package. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh, my God. Give me that. It's a bomb. Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. That'll be my key. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Thanks, Carla. Bye. Right. Let's crack on. Oop, running in circles. Ah! That's it. Ugh. Oh, the running. Right, I'm going to go back down to the blue casket. Now I've got the turkey baster and get some of that liquid out of the sink in the kitchen. So everything's coming together. Like There's a lot of different pieces, obviously, that you need to get the final three pieces I'm looking for. But uh, it will all make sense in the end. Right. So, here we go. There's the turkey baster. 
turkey baster. There it is. Thank you. So if it's enough, if it's enough, sorry, to knock the lady out out here, then I might be able to use it to knock somebody else out. A sailor, maybe. Right. Let's crack on with that then. Is it this way or is it the one? No, this is the correct one. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? Yeah, you do your best, Manny. Nice bright lighthouse over there. In you go, Manny. And there is Naranya. Now, let's uh, scupper him. Quick, 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 quick. So, quick, 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 where's the turkey baster? Would be the last thing I come to, wouldn't it? Come on! Oh, wait a minute, I fucked that up. Bang, 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 bang. Open the fridge, then I open the drawer in the fridge. It's empty. Well, that was weird. Out there. It's attached pretty well. Eh? Who is over there? There we are. I went a bit I weird. I am done with Naranja here. I am going to tattoo big floppy ears on the side of your head so people will know what a jackass you are. No, that didn't work, did it? Bagger! Right. Try again. Have a nice drink there. Nemozogia, hold still, Lotario. Dead. Ugh, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavarko. What kind of sailor are you? Can't handle bulls, huh? What you tell us gonna know what Engem at the Nemfox give his at me? The Taliashen Boland watcher. Well, let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. MIA here. Well, he's sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. He'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Let's is what, what I told him. Let's see what you got on you, huh, sailor? So he's out for the count, but that's not good enough. Are you kidding Seaman me? Seaman Anselmo Naranja Ensign third class. Doesn't look like you'll be showing up to work in I the morning. I gave him the idea in first place. Thank you. Now we're gonna leave. Ah, the tiger can't change his stripes. Right, so he's unconscious, but that won't do it. We need to make him a bit more permanently unconscious than that. But without actually hurting him, of course. But first of all, we're going to go over here. And there's some CBs. Hello. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Can I have your tools? Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. 
Um, let's try that. You're in the union, so why are you unemployed? Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. Um, if the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, man? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, man. It was straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh... Uh, the solution that makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. Right, he needs words. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Right, let's I can't help him find those words. Injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah, forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Don't worry, we're gonna see, see to those words now. Magic words in this magic book. When I find it, there it is. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Yeah. Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! That does it! Shaking his bee booty! You know, oh. I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Or at least a lawyer I can blackmail. So that's another thing I gotta do. Get it get him out of uh, jail so I can get the, the tools that Glottis needs. But I'm gonna do that next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, leave any comments in the comments box below, and I'll see you soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.